darling heart and welcome to the Drink Less, Live Better podcast. This is the podcast that helps you to see that drinking less doesn't need to be stressful, lonely or boring. I'm your host, Sarah Williamson, and I decided to have a year alcohol free as a little life experiment and haven't looked back. With my experience and training, I now help other women with their alcohol free or drink less adventures. I'm here to tell you that you can be truly joyful without alcohol in your life. Join me here each week to find out how. Today, I'd like to tell you a story about how I found myself in the place known as grey area drinking. Now, I'm not really one for a label, a title or a neat little box. And if you'd have tried to put that label on me while I was still drinking, I'd have dismissed you straight away, either politely or perhaps not. The passing of time is a wonderful thing, however, and I look back and can now clearly see that I was, for a very long time, a grey area drinker. A grey area drinker is someone who falls into the bracket between never drinking and severe alcohol misuse. Society tends to view problematic drinking in black and white terms. You're an alcoholic and you need to be fixed, or you're not an alcoholic and are therefore okay. Well, I think it's more nuanced than that. Jolene Park, who I trained with, has an excellent TED talk on the subject of grey area drinking. She sees it as the space between the extremes of rock bottom drinking and every now and again drinking. A grey area drinker could be consuming a couple of glasses of wine each evening or could be someone who binge drinks at the weekend or someone who can abstain for a month at a time to prove they haven't got a problem. I was capable of any of those behaviours and looking back I fitted the description of a grey area drinker very neatly. I was never physically dependent on alcohol but I used it to help me to alter my state of mind into relaxation on a regular basis. This can be a really confusing place to be when you first start to see alcohol for what it is. I'd say, but I'm not doing anyone any harm. I'm sinking a couple of glasses of wine on the sofa and then I'm going to bed. What's the problem with that? Ah, past Sarah, let me tell you the ways. But past Sarah wouldn't have listened to a word future Sarah had to say on the subject because she wasn't ready. In the past, I moved up and down the grey scale, different ages, different friendship groups, different jobs, different circumstances, different seasons and different living arrangements all led to different drinking patterns. And when I say different, I mean constant. Apart from the periods in my life where I was pregnant or breastfeeding, I didn't ever choose to have a really extended time away from alcohol. What I came to realise was that the more I moved up and down the grey scale, the more or less colourful other areas in my life became. If my joy was a rainbow, the vibrancy of that rainbow either faded or shone brightly, depending on how much I was drinking. I stopped myself from making a change around my drinking for a long time as I didn't want anyone to define me as an alcoholic. The movies would have you believe that the end of your drinking career needs to be very dramatic, with a family intervention and a massive rock bottom. But what if you choose for your drinking days to end with a quiet fizzle out instead of a big firework or drama? That's how it was for me. My grey area drinking changed shades of grey over a couple of years. At my worst, I was, well, let's perhaps save that for another episode, but it wasn't fabulous. And by the time I was ready to try my alcohol-free life experiment, I was moderating my drinking and never drinking more than two drinks in one time. However, the shades of grey no longer felt good and I wanted a full-on Technicolor rainbow and I knew that to get one, I had to do away with the other. So I did. Those grey clouds parted and one by one, All the other areas in my life that had up until then been a bit less than joyful started to shine brighter. Would you like to lessen the grey and dial up the rainbow in your life? If so, be honest with yourself. Make a solid plan and find some support if you need it. I'll be there cheering you on the whole way. Thank you for listening to this episode. Please listen in again next time. 
You can sign up to my five-day Drink Less experiment and find out about working with me one-to-one at drinklesslivebetter.com. I'd love it if you could five-star rate and review this podcast. It'd make me as happy as Larry if you did. Who's Larry? Anyone know? If you do, drop me a message and tell me. Thank you. And P.S. I believe in you.